Hi everyone. I hope you are okay. Hi. Who is this from Shevening, Jamaica? Hi. <laughs> Hi. It's so interesting that you're on live while I just decided to come on. This is a random live. Is this Antoinette? Let me know who is this <laughs> from Shevening. All right. So hi, guys. I just wanted to come on to give you some encouragement. I've had a couple of videos go viral. Um, there's one particular one about forgiveness that went viral. I think it's about 300,000 views now, almost 400,000. And um, it just seems as if people are really thinking about how to keep relationships going how to um, love each other, how to be kind to each other, how to forgive each other when we make mistakes. And we will make mistakes. That's, that's a given, right? So I wanted to touch on a few things for you to think about. So hopefully you'll um, take what I have to say into consideration when you are in your relationships. And this, rela this relationship that I'm talking about, it goes across all kinds of relationships. It can be mother, father, parents um, with a child, a sister-brother relationship, husband and wife, friends, uh, co-workers, etc. So the first thing I wanted to touch on was um, there was a, was it a um, story that I put up just now and it says school has a system in place to keep you from falling behind, but life doesn't. And the truth is, life doesn't have a system for you to tell you to catch up. Yeah, there are there are no persons watching you in your life and saying, hey, you're missing this spot. You need to catch up on this. Uh, your finances are not in order. You need to get a hang of this. Um, you're getting older. You need to settle down now. You're you're probably it's probably time for you to get into a relationship if that's what you want to do. There's no one telling you these things unless you have parents who oversee you and even then by the time you reach a certain age your parents kind of hold back and say hey you're on your own because this is life no one teaches you to be an adult when adult things happen <laughs> life happens right and i loved that uh, quote I don't even know who it is from. I just saw it randomly on YouTube and I screenshot it and then I put it here on Instagram. Um, and I, I, as a teacher, I can identify in school. We have so many systems that will help our students get back on track. Um, the teachers give out reports to parents and the parents can see which uh, subject they're doing good in, which subject needs improving, etc. cetera. Uh, we also give reports on behavior issues. Yeah, if there's behavioral problem in the school, parents um, will, be, um, will be sent an email or be sent a, a message to say, hey, maybe you can come in for parent teachers meeting because your child is acting up. Sorry guys, <laughs> there's a lot of noise. And, um, you know, if it goes beyond that, then the parents will be called into the principal's office. There are lots of checks and balances within the school system to show you as a student that we care, that we want you to get on track and that we want you to graduate within your right time. Right. So if you have five years to graduate, we want you to be on track so that you can hit that mark for graduation in five years time in life. There's no such thing. You are responsible for your life. And if you are a young adult, this is something that you will have to learn as you get older. And if you're an older adult, this is something that you, you have seen and have realized in this life. And if you have not gotten that responsibility as yet, it's time to get the responsibility and start making specific decisions um, to, to move your life into the, the direction that you want your life to be in. So I like that quote. I will say it again one more time. School has a system in place to keep you from falling behind. Life doesn't. All right. Another one that I like to talk about um, is 
the best way to stop doing bad things we hate is to feed our spirit with good things. Now, we all do things that we don't like. Yeah. Um, and if you're a Christian, I am one. As a Christian, I will always say, um, my heart is willing, but the flesh is weak. That's something that we always say. However, when bad things happen, when I do quote unquote bad things, I have to realize that I have to feed myself with positivity, with love. I have to give myself joy and kindness. I have to find those things in life because if not, the guilt and the shame will weigh you down, really. And even if it's just something simple, maybe it's not, it's not anything that was even intentional. We do in unintentional bad things all the time. Yeah, we may say something that hurt somebody's feelings. We may do something that hurt somebody's feelings and we, did, we didn't even realize it. Um, so feeding yourself um, with this positivity, with this um, kindness before meeting the world with kindness, I suggest that you meet yourself with kindness first. Have compassion on yourself. Just like you have compassion with the people in this world, or sometimes you'll watch something on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, and you'll see something heartwarming and touching, and you'll be like, oh, that's the same way you can look at yourself and be like, mm, I need to give myself a break. I need to give myself compassion. Um, I may say something that hurt someone, but I didn't intentionally mean it. Um, I, I didn't have malicious intent when I did what I did. Um, if you have the chance to sit down and speak to the person, you can. But if you don't have that chance, then my suggestion is to find find that um, that personal connection within yourself to say I, I'm giving myself kindness I'm giving myself a love I'm giving I'm showing myself compassion today I'm gonna forgive myself because sometimes we really do things that are off the cuff and we have to forgive ourselves and it goes it goes right back to the video that I was saying to you was going viral. Um, the video was talking about the different steps in in um, in which we can forgive someone. But I could also say those are steps in which you could forgive yourselves. Yeah. You can forgive yourself in a different ways. And I'm going to try to see if I can find the different steps and tell it to you. I don't know it off the top of my head. I have to go back and find it and then I can show you. All right. Hold on a second. But... In, while I'm looking for it, um, I'm just saying to you that these, uh, these things that we talk about, these things that we seek forgiveness for, we have to instead, instead, and I'm not saying we're not supposed to seek forgiveness from others, but before we even go to others, remember to make sure that you are right within yourself you forgive yourself you love yourself you are helping yourself you're giving yourself kindness you're giving yourself grace you're giving yourself compassion you're giving yourself joy you're you are giving yourself peace and like i just said i am a christian so my peace is founded on the word of god my peace is founded within christ um, but if you are not then um you have to find where your peace comes from all right um, let me go through the different steps, like I said. Okay, so four ways to four ways for um, to apologize if you are doing something wrong and you're seeking forgiveness. The man says there are four ways to apologize. First, say you're sorry. Explain and say, okay, I'm sorry. You address the person by name because of course that makes it a little bit more personal. Second is to acknowledge what you did. Say explicitly what went wrong, what happened, what you did, and um, take responsibility for what you did. Third is state the effect that it has on them. How did your actions, your words, what you did affect the person and explicitly say it. I, I know this was wrong because it affected you in this way. Um, and then lastly, uh, hold on a second. It's coming up. 
ask for forgiveness, of course. So you're going to ask for forgiveness after going through those steps, which is the fourth step. Within the comments, though, you guys were giving you know, additional steps. I remember somebody said um, a fifth step is to never do it again. <laughs> or change behavior um and change behavior is easier said than done um because we're all imperfect beings we are all human beings um so um if somebody repeats the same behavior again and again does that mean they don't care does that mean they don't take your um your feelings into consideration hmm. um i would ask you if you if somebody says to you, you are doing something that annoys me or offends me, and I would like you to stop doing it. If you continually do the same thing again, does that mean that you don't care? Or is it that sometimes those things that we do are hardwired in our brains, and sometimes it's just not easy to remember just like that. If you see someone making an effort, then that's different. But expecting change overnight usually does not happen yeah um so i just wanted to come on and share my thoughts and i'm hoping to share more videos like this just to get you on the right track to be positive to have joy to have peace to have love um and i hope that you will continue to follow me as i continue to send videos like this out to the world thanks again guys take care bye